It's More Money with leading economist Steve Moore. Stephen Moore is with us, economist. With more than 30 years' experience as an economist and as a leading thinker of government on business, showing deep understanding of the shifts in the global economy, he's leading economist Steve Moore with More Money on Talk Radio 77 WABC. Now, here's your host, Steve Moore. We are back, folks. This is the More Money Show on WABC Talk Radio. By the way, isn't Rick Scott just a superstar? I mean, I just wrote him a note after he came on the show and just said, we need to clone you, Senator, because unfortunately, we don't have 50 like that. We have a lot of big government Republicans out there who want to spend money like it's candy almost as much as the Democrats do. And for those who of you are regular listeners to this show, you know I am not a rah-rah Republican. I mean, I get so angry at the Republicans sometimes as well. I mean, oftentimes there are a lot of Republicans who voted for these obscene spending bills that that uh, Biden introduced. Uh, in fact, some of them were the tie breaking votes for some of these crazy bills. So um, if we, only we had more Rick Scott's and more uh, Mike Lee's and more uh, people like Rand Paul, we'd be a, a lot better off. But let's give the Republicans one more chance <laughs> and see if they're going to cut some spending and cut cut the debt. Uh, my next guest, by the way, is. Um, one of the experts on small business in this country. Uh, I'm talking about, of course, Alfredo Ortiz. You see him all the time on Fox News. He runs a marvelous group uh, called the Job Creators Network. And for full disclosure, I am on the board of this group. And by the way, I don't, I don't, um, I don't join a lot of boards of organizations, but I believe in the mission of Job Creators Network because what we need is a massive army of small businessmen and women who are the backbone of our economy to to uh, bring real change in this country. And without small businesses, we don't have an economy. So Alfredo, first of all, thanks for joining and thanks for, for what you do at the Job Creators Network. Absolutely, Steve, and thank you for what you do. And uh, it's been great uh, fighting the good fight with you uh, alongside with you for the past six or seven years now. So uh, yeah. starting with the Tax Cut and Jobs Act and getting that passed. So thank you for what you do. So you're... Thank you, Alfredo. So you're in touch uh, with the small business owners of America every day. You have thousands and thousands, probably tens of thousands of members who are dedicated to obviously making their business a success. But then they also, uh, you know, are uh, patriots and that, that they care about what's happening in our country. Describe to me, because you talk to these uh, men and women every day, Alfredo, what is mm -hmm. the mood of the small business sector right now? Well, you know, Steve, I mean, they're they're really concerned. I mean, um, you know, months and months ago, they already started pulling back on, you know, jobs, uh, which is obviously a concern because two thirds of new job growth is in the hands of small business. And even though Biden uh, and the Biden administration and Harris love crowing about the wonderful job numbers, if you really start peeling them away, I mean, almost two thirds of them are in government or some social services yes. or quasi government right. jobs like healthcare. care. Yeah, so the actual health right, of the job recovery isn't broad and it isn't deep. And so that's very concerning because, in particular, small businesses are kind of going, oh, gosh, I mean, we're getting killed with taxes. We're getting still killed with supply chain issues. We're getting killed with regulations. And now, you know, this administration, if potentially they win, are saying they're going to do more of the bad stuff that kills our business. So... Um we, we've been talking on the show earlier, and I don't want to dwell too much on it, about these idiot ideas that came out from the Kamala Harris campaign uh, yesterday about price controls um, and, you know, massive new government spending and housing and in health care. Um, <laughs> how can a small business even operate if the government's telling them what they can charge for their prices? Well, Steve, it won't. I mean, it's just going to close its doors. I mean, that's that's the one thing the government doesn't actually understand. You can say you're going to do whatever you want, control this and control that. But what they can't control, they can't force people to stay in business. Right. They, yes. a, 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 a small business and entrepreneur will say, you know what? The cost of doing all of this far outweighs what I'm going to make and the risk of capital that I'm putting on the on, on the table. So I'm just not going to do it. And, you know, they'll go, go get another job or some of that. And there goes the jobs, right? There goes yeah. the jobs. And, and and that's the one thing they just don't understand. I mean, you know, look what's happening, you know, in the, uh, you know, the fast food area. I mean, uh, all these businesses are closing. 
Um, they're going bankrupt, especially in California with $20 minimum wage. Yeah. I'm like, sure, give them $50 minimum wage, right? Guess what? You won't have a single restaurant alive um, you know, at that yeah. point. And that's what they just don't understand, Steve. Save on O'Reilly Brake Parts Cleaner. Get two cans of O'Reilly Brake Parts Cleaner for just $8. Valid in-store only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. If you're a facilities manager at a warehouse and your HVAC system goes down, it can turn up the heat, literally. But don't sweat it. Granger has you covered. Granger offers over a million industrial grade products for all your operations, including warehouse HVAC maintenance. And even better, they offer access to experts and fast delivery, so you and your warehouse can both keep your cool. Call 1 800 Granger, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Well, and Kam- Kamala wants to, you know, you, you reminded me, I had forgotten about this, uh, uh, Alfredo, that. Uh, among the many price and wage controls she wants is she wants to have a big increase in the federal minimum wage. And look, I'm, I want American workers to be well paid. You do. We all do. Uh, but, you know, the minimum wage is just a starter wage for people. You know, your first job, you get the minimum wage. And then if you do well, you get a raise. And if you don't do well, you probably get fired. That's the way the world works. And um, but you saw firsthand uh, for those of are not paying that close attention to the, to what um, Alfredo was talking about in California, they raised, what was it, $20 an hour? $20, $20 yeah. minimum wage. So, right, they, they tried this experiment there in California where all progressive ideas come from. And what happened? And which Kamala I, I, I heard, from, by the way, remember, <laughs> Kamala was funny yeah. over there. <laughs> so, like, how many workers, I, th- I read something like more than 5,000 workers lost their jobs or something like that. I, I forget the number. Uh, I, I, it's it's a lot more than I don't I don't actually have the number, but I know it's a lot more than that because Businesses are just basically saying we cannot operate under yes. those uh, conditions. We just can't make ends meet because yeah. I mean that's that's a beginning wage. Think about that beginning wage. I mean, so what ends up happening is, look, entrepreneurs are great. They're going to figure out as many different ways as they can to actually make it work. So one of the things you start looking at is technology. You know, yep. um, for example, um, <clears throat> I have a an apartment in Arlington, and at the base of it is a McDonald's. Well, guess what? All the cashiers are gone. It's only kiosk. You have two people handing out the food. That's it. Yeah. Right? Because the minimum wages are so high now, the labor costs are so high, that they've eliminated the labor. And so, yeah, yeah. you can make it $100 an hour, and they're going to have one person per restaurant. You know? Yeah. It's <laughs> right. still open. <laughs> and, by the way, I think, uh, Alfredo, a lot of the so- – several of the major restaurant chains just shut down. They said, we're not operating in California anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so many of them, like, like Quiznos. I know Quiznos has like 3,200 locations across the country. They're down to like 300 locations. Wow. Uh, Wal- wow. Walgreens is now closed. And I think I heard something like 2,500 Walgreens. I mean, that is a combination of just not only the wages, but the issues of crime, right? That's hitting a, a lot of these stores Walgreens, CVS. I mean, look at San Francisco. I mean, we should really yeah. look at California, Steve. And honestly, I mean, if you want the rest of the United States to be like California, which is really a disaster now, vote for Kamala, right? Because that's what yeah. you're going to get. I mean, look at San Francisco. I don't think in that beautiful area that was the main center uh, yes. downtown, the shopping area, I don't think there's one store left that's open, actually. Yeah. I'm talking to Alfredo Ortiz, who's the uh, CEO of Job Creators Network. By the way, any of you who run a small business, the men and women around the country that we have obviously millions of small business owners, you should join job. How, how do people join? How do people become a member of job creators? Well, it's, it's really easy. So you go to, first of all, join jcn.com, join jcn.com. Um, and, and you can go on there. Jobcreatorsnetwork.com is also our website where we have a lot of information that really gets you up to speed about everything that's going on. But, you know, the one thing about job creators network and Steve, you know, thank you again for, for being you know, a board member. But you've seen what we do. We, we do we, we're not about putting stickers, you know, like the chamber and another organization that I won't mention, you know, stickers on a window and then that's it. Um, we were really advocating for the, you know, for, for the success of these small businesses through yes. you know, drive, trying to drive taxes down, trying to drive regulations and red tape down because those choke the, entre- the entrepreneurial spirit. They choke our economy. 
Um, sure do. And when President uh, uh, Trump was around, he would get that. He got that. Remember, you know, the red yep. tape that he cut. I mean, how many regulations? Did anybody, well, like 21 regulations, I think, cut for everyone introduced. And I think yep. the goal was like six. I mean, that's what we need to do. That's the direction. And, um, you know, uh, th- these small businesses, I mean, especially uh, on the inflation front, are getting pummeled. And, and this yeah. idea that Kamala has about this, you know, price controls, I mean, how ridiculous is that? This, that their corporations and these yeah. businesses are price gouging consumers? I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. You still get the, the, the producer price index curve and the consumer price index curve. So one's the wholesale, one's the uh, consumer mm-hmm. inflation curve. They're the same. You know, as well. Yeah. They, they, they're like they're like completely in tandem, which yeah, only means exactly. that, that the, the businesses are just passing on the incredibly high cost of doing yep. business now to consumers. Yeah. Well, Alfredo, uh, thank God you're out there being a champion for the small businesses across the country. Folks, go to what is it? JCN.com. Join, How do they join? Join JCN.com. 